Hello and welcome to Wooden Graphite, the number two pencil based video channel on the internet. Today I'm taking a look at some awesome Japanese stationery from High Tide. Both of these products were provided free of charge by the kind folks over at the journal shop. This is not a sponsored video and my views are my own. However, the journal shop does have an amazing range of stuff, some of which I have not seen elsewhere. High Tide is a Japanese company that has a number of brands under its umbrella. The Nea A5 General Purpose Case and the Penco Prime Timber 2mm Mechanical Pencil. This A5 general purpose case from Nea is a perfect little organizer for all of your stationary needs. I picked yellow to match the prime timber pencil, but it's also available in several other primary colors. Its A5 size is half of that of a typical A4 page. For those of you located in countries that refuse to use Lichtenberg dimensional paper, it measures 8 by 10 inches. It's made from soft plastic and has a faint leather type texture to it. The front is transparent and has three sections inside and a pocket on the back for extra storage. It's built to expand and can stretch around 2 centimeters in width if you need it to. Plastic products tend to get a bad rep, but this is not your cheap Office Depot brand plastic pocket. It's built from quality materials and constructed to last. It kind of reminds me of those super tough clipboards and notepads used by surveyors and architects on site. I don't see the plastic ripping or splitting anytime soon. I often fill mine up with a pocket notebook, my brass Fisher space pen, and of course, a few choice pencils. The clear front means you can check the contents and it can be easily tossed into a backpack to organize your smaller items. Perfect for board meetings or coffee shop writing sessions. Next up is the 2mm mechanical pencil. The Penco Prime Timber is a very unique pencil and it's one of the few modern mechanicals that I've seen with a wooden case. The case in question is made from American incense cedar and measures 8mm in diameter. Just slightly larger than the 7.2 diameter of a Blackwing, which is also made from comparably similar incense cedar casing. The metal button handles the clicking action. It's smooth with a satisfying detent and advances the lead about 2mm per click. The 2mm lead comes with the pencil and is unmarked. In keeping with Japanese preferences, the lead feels darker than a normal HB, and it's probably around a B or a 2B in grade. Sharpening the pencil is really easy with the included lead pointer, which is a really nice form factor. The four angle blades trim the graphite and produce a short, sharp point. Graphite dust is collected in this clear container, the perfect visual metric for all that writing you've done. The manufacturing is top notch. Everything but the cedar casing is made from brass or aluminium. It's also a really attractive looking pencil with thick, colorful lacquer on it. I got the red and yellow variety, but there are several more variants available to suit any taste or palette. I'm told the internals are made by Kitabashi, which means this not only looks the part, but it's also a very high quality Japanese pencil. The Panko Prime Timber provides a unique writing experience. The thick barrel sits well in the hand and the cedar semi-hex profile means it's comfortable to use for extended periods. The lead leaves a satisfying mark on the page and the darker lead means you'll have no trouble reading back the notes you make. The mix between mechanical pencil function and wood case pencil form makes the Penco Prime Timber a definite keeper in my collection. So there you have it, just two of the amazing products available from High Tide. Take a look at the Journal Shop website for a bunch of cool products, some of which I have never seen elsewhere. They really have a really unique and amazing product lineup. Again, no affiliation or sponsorship, they just have a great site and there's some really, really lovely people over there that I spoke to when I wanted to do this video. Links as ever are in the description and I'll see you in the next video.